por hermosas que parezcan las mariposas, son criaturas increíblemente tiernas y frágiles que deben manejarse con extrema precaución. Sin embargo, a veces ocurren accidentes y pueden lesionarse, ¿qué haces entonces? ¿Llevarlos a un doctor de mariposas? Bueno, estamos bastante seguros de que los doctores de mariposas no existen, pero Katie Van Blaricum, la fundadora de Insectar, es la persona más cercana a uno. De hecho, después de que una mariposa monarca deformada nació en un zoológico local, se pusieron en contacto con Katia y le pidieron ayuda para reparar el insecto, y lo hizo con gran éxito. Hello and welcome to this episode of Fix That Butterfly. Since my last one was so popular and everybody was asking me how it was done, I am going to show you how I do it on another one. And I have to take a dead butterfly that's about the same size and unfortunately sacrifice it in order to give this live butterfly its chance. It's in this envelope, it's been in the refrigerator for about half an hour cooling down so it is a little bit slower. However, that is not going to slow it down as much as I wish it would. This butterfly somehow was damaged and brought to me. I do not know exactly what happened to it, but... We're going to replace most of the left upper wing. So, first we have to immobilize it. We're going to put it in this little styrofoam indention here. And I'm going to use some glass plates, just like I do with a dead butterfly, to get the wings immobilized. There's a side I'm not working on right now and here's the side I am going to work on. And you can see this wing has just got some tears in it. It is not strong at all. It's very flimsy. It's not good here. It's not good there. So we're gonna have to replace most of it. This is this is bad. Uh, so here's the wing that we're gonna use I'm gonna try to immobilize this lower wing here So it's not in the way and what we got to do now is cut off the bad stuff and butterflies cannot feel this so it's not going to be a problem but we cut it off as much as we have to and no more so unfortunately that's going to be most of it there we go we take our super glue and I'm going to cut a little bit off of this too so it ends up kind of matching up at the right place. Let's see what it may look like. All right, I'm gonna give it a cursory go here. I'm gonna place this super glue, get it started first. Right on the very edge, oh, that's coming up a little too fast. We don't want that. Oh, geez. All right, so I'm just gonna do this to us. We're just gonna put some here and we're gonna close the lid. And we're gonna take a pin, dip it in our super glue and work this way. I did not want super glue on my hands today, but we're going to have to work very carefully now. Just a little bit there and let's try to get that super glue off me and put that where it needs to go. We got one chance. Here it is. So I've got tweezers. I can move it a little bit with the tweezers. Hold it down for a couple seconds. Ugh. It's not actually as straight as I wish it was, but we're going to move this antenna out of the way. Alright, 
and take a look at it from underneath. Make sure there's no flaps that are coming up to catch the wind in the wrong way. And sometimes you can have a little bit of flour here. If you think there's some wet super glue, you can just push that powder over there so it does not stick to anything it's not supposed to, but I do not think we have any overages here. So at this point, we're just going to take that off and come on out here. And he's hungry, look at that. He knows I mean food. So he's got his little tongue sticking out. I've got a, uh, a sponge here, see if he wants to eat any of the Gatorade that's soaked into that sponge. And I, honestly, that wing, I did not do the best job getting it straight. I may uh, see what happens and come back to this guy, but you guys could at least see how it's done, and hopefully you'll get yours on straighter than I will next time. All right, thanks for watching. Si te ha gustado el video, por favor dale like y suscríbete al canal. Me harías un buen paro si también lo compartes con tus amigos en tus redes sociales. Soy Marco Taperro, hasta la próxima.